hope you're doing well today and I hope you had a wonderful week and it's finally starting to get a little bit warmer. It's really, really springtime and we're starting to get closer and closer to summer. So I hope you had a really good weekend. We went hiking this weekend. What did you do? I hope it was something really fun. All right, we're gonna sing our hello, our good morning song, but I'm making it our hello friend song because I did not get to do this this morning. So <laughs> we're gonna sing hello my friends. <clears throat> Are you ready? Okay. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? Ready? In Spanish. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. ¿Cómo estás? answer the question, what are different ways that things can move? So first we're going to read our story about it. Whoops. And I have some new words to introduce to you. So let's take a look at those before we jump into our book. We're going to do our pink cards. So our amazing words. <clears throat> All right, are you ready? The first word is straight. Something straight does not have a bend or curve or turn. This red line is straight. Say straight. Nice. <coughs> Our next word is muscle. Show me your muscle. An Oscar. Um. Our next word is muscle. Show me your muscle. A muscle is a part of your body that helps you move and lift things. Look at this man's big old muscle, you see that? Say muscle with me, muscle. All right, next, our word is bounce. Something that bounces, when something bounces, it springs back after hitting something. This girl will, will bounce on her red ball. Say bounce. Do any of you have one of these? A hippity hop or a hop along, it's usually what they're called. <clears throat> okay, our next word is zigzag. A zigzag path moves back and forth in sharp turns. This zigzag zigzag line has lots of sharp turns. Go ahead and say zigzag. Nice. Okay, our next word is still. Ooh. When something is still, it is not moving. The water in this lake is very still. It's not moving at all. Say still. Nice job. Our last word for right now is direction. A direction is the way something is moving or pointing. These signs point in different directions. Say direction. One points that way, one points that way. All pointing in different directions, aren't they? All right, so now let's take a look at our book. It's called Oscar and the Cricket, and I really like this book because I think it's a lot of fun. This is a book about moving and rolling. So do you remember what it's called when it tells us the name of the story? What's that called when it tells us the name of our book? That's the title. This one is Oscar and the Cricket, a book about moving and rolling. It is by Jeff Waring. Who's that person? That's the person that wrote the story. What are they called? The author. Very nice. Okay. Let's get started. <clears throat> One fall day, Oscar was up on the hill when he found something round and red in the grass. He sniffed at it and he nudged it. What could it be? Cricket jumped up. It's a ball, he said. You can make it roll. Try pushing it with your paw. So Oscar did. Oh, let me show you the first picture. What did he find? He found a ball. The ball rolled away through the grass. 
grass. Then lay still. Why did it stop? Oscar asked. The thick grass slowed it down, Cricket said. Try rolling it on the path. What do you think will happen if Oscar takes the ball out of the grass and puts it on the path to roll instead? Do you think it will keep going? I wonder. But a long branch was lying in the way. We'll have to move it, Cricket said. I'm not big or strong enough, but you are, Oscar. Try giving it a pull. Urgh, Oscar groaned. Slowly the branch started to move. Why is he moving the branch out of the way? Is it so the ball can keep going? Yeah. Oscar put the ball on the path and gave it another push. This time it rolled along and along and along. The smoother the surface you roll it on, Cricket said, the farther it will, it will go. <gasps> Look at that. It's rolling in a straight line, Oscar noticed. And it's heading toward What's it heading toward? What is it? Oh no, the tree! And then what happened? Bounce! Oh dear, Oscar said. It's all right, said Cricket. The ball hit the side of the tree and that made it roll in a different direction. For a moment, Oscar stopped watching the ball to look all the leaves were swaying and fluttering. The leaves can move by themselves, Oscar said. It looks like it, Cricket said. But can they really, my friends? Can the leaves move by themselves? What makes the leaves move? Wind. How does the wind make the leaves move? The wind is pushing them and making them move. Does everything need a push to make it move? Oscar asked. What about me? Well, you can move by yourself, Cricket said. Most animals can. What do our bodies have, my friends, that help us move? What do we use in our bodies for ease? Our muscles. Our bodies have muscles to help us. And then Cricket jumped up and down. Moving makes you Moving makes you change shape, Oscar said, laughing. Did Cricket change shape when he moved? Yeah, he did. He jumped up and stretched out and then scrunched back up to land. We can use our muscles to move ourselves and to move other, other things too, Cricket said. A leaf cutter ant can lift, lift 50 times its own body weight in its Jaws, that's these bones right here that we used to chew. A hawfinch can crack a hard cherry pit in its bill. A spider monkey can swing its whole body by its tail. A dung beetle can push a ball of dung the size of an apple with its back legs. An elephant can pull down a tree branch with its trunk. Look at how strong all these animals are and all the wonderful things they can do with their muscles and their bodies. Pretty cool. Just then, Oscar saw the ball again lying in the grass. This time, he gave it a great big push. What do you think is going to happen? What do you see in front of Oscar? Mud. It rolled through some mud and it rolled through some leaves. Is it slowing down, Oscar said? Yes, Cricket said, but it hasn't stopped. You gave it such a strong push. So what made it go longer? Why did it go longer this time? It kept rolling. What did Oscar do? He gave it a really strong push. Maybe it will never stop, Oscar said, but just then, a kitten put out a paw and the ball stopped. Hello, said Oscar. I'm Oscar and this is Cricket. Who are you? I'm Ted, said Ted. Can I play? Ted gave the ball a push. Oscar ran after it. Look out, called Cricket. Run, roll, flutter, jump. 
everything was moving on the hill. What do you think would happen if you pushed something up a hill? What would happen if Oscar tried to push the ball up a hill? Do you think it would go slower and then come back down? What if you push a ball down a hill? It goes faster, huh? And then it keeps going when it reaches the bottom until it's stopped by something else, right? That's pretty cool. Do you have any balls at your house? Any round things you could push, you think? Maybe things you could pull? I want you to practice making things move in different directions. See how you can get a ball to bounce in a different direction by maybe pushing it against a wall or see if you can bounce it up and down and it could bounce off of a wall. Maybe you play with a cousin or a brother or sister or an adult in your house. That could be kind of fun. I want you to see what kinds of things you can pull in your house. Are there any things that you can pull safely that you can pull across a room maybe? Are there heavier things and lighter things? I bet there are. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Let me know what you find and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.